Hey everybody, today it's all about what works and what does not work when you're using a bendable ruler to try to figure out the shape of your crotch. Welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. I got a subscriber question via email about how to use the shape she got from using a bendable ruler to identify the shape of her crotch. And she wanted to know how she could adjust her pattern based on that shape. If you follow along with me, you might have heard me say in the past that these are not very helpful. I think the the danger in using a bendable ruler to sort of identify your crotch shape is that there are parts of the curve that you can use and there are parts of the curve that, that do not translate to a paper pattern. So what I wanna do today is show you what you can use a bendable ruler for to help you adjust your pattern and what you should not take into consideration when you're looking at the shape that you get from wrapping this around you and then creating a paper template. So first, let's take a look at the template that the subscriber sent me. And you can see here, I basically just drew an outline because I didn't want to waste an entire ink cartridge printing out the photo of the the template she sent me. It's exactly the same. I didn't change any of the shape. I marked her front waist, back waist, and where her inseam would sit on her body right here. And then what I did was I had it in Illustrator, so I was able to create pattern pieces that were the size that would work with this size crotch. So I scaled the pattern pieces to agree. And then I started playing with it in the, you know, in Illustrator to see what would happen. So I realize now that there are some benefits to the bendable ruler. And I want to show you um, some things that you can use to help you shape your crotch with a bendable ruler and which things that you should ignore. So first I'm going to set aside my little template here and I'm just going to put the paper pieces together. Now here's one of the things that can be confusing when you're looking at the shape of your crotch as it is around your body. So you've taken it from your 3D shape and now you're looking at your flat pattern pieces. And what we can see here is if I line up my inseam at the top, which is what you want to do because you can see here, if I bring this back, there's my inseam. Okay, so I've got my crotch shape here and then I've got my crotch shape here. You can see that it does show you the base of the crotch. So the curved areas of the pattern may or may not correspond with the shape of the curve on the template that you made from a bendable ruler. But notice what happens when you bend the ruler around you to get your shape. What happens to the straight parts of the crotch? They are straight up or they actually come into the waist because that's your 3D shape. When you look at what the paper pattern pieces are doing here, when they're laying flat, they're not conforming to your shape. That happens when you sew them together into a 3D fabric pant muslin and then you draw your waistline in. But when you're looking at your flat pattern pieces, notice the straight parts of the, the front and back crotch actually flare away. So that's a little bit of a disconnect between, okay, so what do I do now? Because now I've got this shape, but I want it to be this shape. So you can see that I can't just trace this shape onto these pattern pieces because the end result is it's not going to fit. You'll end up with a negative space that's too small because you'd be bringing in all of this fabric up here to get this to come in and it just does not work. But you can actually use the bendable ruler shape to help you shape the crotch extensions. So what I did was to make this easy to see, I'm going to put my little paper ones away. I trace them on tracing paper to make it easy to see what's happening here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think to make it even easier, I'm going to cut the paper away from one inseam just so I don't have extra layers here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape those together because you always want to line up your inseams like this while you're working. So if I tape them together, then they won't slide around. Okay, and then the next step is we're going to want to put this inseam where the inseam would be on your crotch, which is right here. So I'm just going to line that up right there like that. And you can see what's happening here is if I squeeze this down like this, you can see that I've matched it up. Let me just get it right on there actually. Hold on. I've matched it right up with the inseam at the crotch. Okay, so that's up against the shape. But notice the front pattern is actually right here. I think you can see that. And then it dips below the back crotch shape. So in the front, it's almost like I need to unscoop the curve. And in the back, I need to scoop it a little. So notice by lining this up, and you should always look at your inseam so it's sort of vertically straight when you're looking because that's how it's going to sit in comparison to the crotch curve. Okay, so what we can do here is we can reshape the base of the crotch to get it to agree with what your bendable ruler template is telling you. And then we can blend back up to the waist. And this, I think, could give you a good starting point to fit your pattern if you want to customize it. And then work with your single leg muslin and separate waistband to figure out how to balance the front and back leg. So this, I think, would be ex especially helpful for people who have a really low curve in the back or something that's proportionally not balanced front to back because all commercial and indie patterns are designed to fit a certain general shape and if you fall significantly out of that shape this can actually I think help. So notice what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start in the front where it touches and I'm literally just going to dash in the shape of the crotch and then I'm going to go underneath like this Okay, now when I get over to here though, I'm not going to continue up like this because you can see that's, that's not what's going to work. But what I am going to do is use my little ruler here to just continue this shape right up to the original like this. Okay, so this would be the shape that I would end up with versus trying to bring it in. So you can see now what I've done is I've customized the shape of the bottom or base of the crotch curve to agree with what I got from my bendable ruler template, but I'm going to keep the parts above that straight like that. So let's just, I'm just going to take away this for one second. I'm going to cut this out so we can see what it looks like now. So I'm literally just going to cut on what I dashed out here. Let's put it back together and see what we ended up with. All right, so you can see now that I've got a shape that's agreeing with the base of the crotch and I've adjusted my crotch extensions to agree with the shape. So I think that this can actually be very helpful. So 
This falls under the category never say never, and if a method works for somebody and they get good results, it works. So I just wanted to share with you how you could use a bendable ruler to help you identify the base of the crotch and crotch extensions to help you fit your pants faster. How would I fit this into the whole scoop multi-method pants fitting? I think what I would do is stick this step in right after you trace your size. So after your size is traced, get out your template that you made from a bendable ruler and just customize the bottom of the crotch curve, leaving the tops the same, and then go to the next step of adding all of your allowances above the waist, side seam, inseam, and cut out your single leg muslin with the separate waistband and work in the top-down center-out method um, described by Ruth Collins in Threads Magazine 218. And that way, you can get the best of both worlds. I'm all about customizing your pattern, not fitting it, but customizing the shape of the pattern to agree with you before you start fitting to make it easier to get to your final result that you're happy with. So I hope this little tip on using a bendable ruler is helpful to you. If you haven't given it a try, maybe give it a try. I tried my, <laughs> I mean, I lost it now, but um, I tried measuring my, or sh making my shape crotch um, using the bendable ruler, and it really just ended up u looking like a uh, standard U shape. So I don't know how helpful it will be for, you know, people who have a, balanced front to back crotch, you're going to end up with something that looks like a, a U. But when you get down into a low butt or something that's a little bit out of the normal for shape, I think that's where you'll benefit. So thank you guys so much for watching Fit Tip Tuesday. Tomorrow during subscriber Q&A, I got an excellent question from Tana. And she's one of my regular subscribers who comes to my live videos. I don't think she'll mind that um, I said her name. She has a dress pattern she's trying to fit. And it's actually very similar to the bias dress I was working with. It has, um, I'll bring my little mini here. I'll bring my little mini here so you can see. So the dress she's working on actually has both sides of the V at the base of the V neckline but the seams are hitting her um, across the bust versus being under the bust. So it's one of those styles where the top bodice pieces are basically forming the bust cup and then the lower bodice is underneath. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust the pattern so that the style lines are fitting you for a flattering look on a pattern that has a V-shaped piece with two um, upper bodice pieces forming the V neckline. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. I'm kind of excited about it because, you know, anytime I can nerd around with patterns, I'm a happy girl. And I just want to mention to everybody, um, anybody who works with minis or small pieces and has issues with their wrists and hands to cut repetitively or any of those things, this so Tight's magnetic cutting system is amazing to help give your hands and your wrists some relief. So if you are interested in this fabulous new thing from So Tight's, please check the description below for my affiliate link because you'll save 15%. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for a subscriber Q&A at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time live. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.